Good morning guys, it is Saturday, which means it's time for another Working Mom Weekly Prep. Hey guys, Sarah here from Work Like Blue, and every weekend I like to post a video showing our weekend, the weekend before, um, and just how we balance work and life and everything in between on the weekends. Today, a certain little special girl. How old are you now, Celia? Five! Five, and what are we doing today? I'm having a birthday party. You're having a birthday party? Is our birthday party here? No. No. <laughs> We're having it at this indoor playground, which I tried to do last year, but it got booked. And so I'm really excited because we don't have to clean and the house and get said it all ready. It was luck, 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 yeah. luck. So um, that's pretty exciting. So we're gonna go get, pick up her balloons. We did a bunch of errands yesterday. I was closed. Dan was off yesterday too, which was nice. Celia's excited because she, her bow matches her puppy's bow. But we're really excited. She had Valentine's Day, so they've been eating their treats and looking at their stuff and she's five. What about you Ella? I love you Celia! And yesterday I did this thing that I haven't done in almost a year which is cut my <laughs> hair and oh my gosh what are you doing to me? I feel like a new woman. It's just so much softer and nicer and I feel like I look younger with hair that's actually kept up so finally got to go do that because I did it in the morning but <laughs> So anyway, that's our plan for today. The birthday parties, we have to, we're gonna go. And we're not even cooking any of the food. We just are getting subway platters. And um, just really easy, simple birthday. I'm really excited because we usually have so many boys here. And when you have a daycare, it's like there's so many toys they want to play with, which I don't blame them. But it's like, I don't want to have to re-clean and organize all that again after they all leave so it's just nice to have it somewhere else and it's a playground and it's the dead of winter yesterday was super duper cold it was like the feel was like 40 below with the wind chill so today's like a 30 degree difference so that's good but yeah i'm really excited silly got um her other present her main present was this dollhouse although it's for both girls and then we redid her room but that was something we we're gonna do anyway but she got this mermaid bedspread she had picked out, but forgot about she's playing with the Barbie toilet. So that was her main present, but yeah, we're really excited. So here's Celia's cake. It's actually different than what we had ordered, but whatever. It's a Frozen 2 birthday theme. Surprise, surprise. It says happy birthday, Celia. And then I made some Frozen um, Play-Doh. Not, it's not, doesn't, it's not like Frozen as in it was frozen in the freezer or something it just looks like the movie frozen it's like blue with different kinds of glitter so i'm gonna give that as like a favor so this is for the family of four boys this is for the family of one boy little boy and then i then i made a bunch for daycare and the girls played with it yesterday i'll leave the recipe below it's a no bake or it's a no cook recipe so you just pour in hot boiling water but i had to add a lot more dry ingredients to get it to like come together and not be sticky so just be aware of that but I think it turned out pretty good and the girls really like it so I'm excited. The nice thing about this long weekend is I can just dump Duplos out and they can have them for four days to play with because I'm closed. I was closed Friday and now I'm also closed Monday so that's really nice. Monday I won't probably be filming this but I'm going to get a blood test um, which can see if there's any chromosomal abnormalities with the baby because both of our girls had markers for trisomy 18, which is um, a really unfortunate um, chromosomal abnormality that will cause your baby to either be born stillborn or probably pass away soon after birth just because there's so many things wrong with them. But they both ended up being fine, but we had a few weeks in between like a more thorough ultrasound where we had to wait and worry and with Bryony, the markers were still there, so I ended up having to get a blood test anyway. So I just decided to get it done now, so that if there are if there are markers, I'll already know it's just a marker, it's not an actual thing. 
because it's just a cyst on their brain which is totally benign and normal but it can also be a marker for trisomy 18. So anyway that test will also tell us the gender of the baby and I'm also getting an ultrasound because I haven't done an ultrasound yet and a lot of people have me freaked out that it may be twins um, just because I've been so sick so I just want to make sure there's just one baby or if there's not just one then I can at least know now and not at 20 weeks um, so we're doing that Monday and then I'm gonna take Celia on a little mommy daughter date cuz Sam he works tomorrow on Sunday but he was off Friday Saturday and then Monday so that's really nice we get some time together we are of course gonna start the day with donuts because you know why add, why not add more sugar when they've just had Valentine's Day they have a birthday today why not throw more sugar on there but it's just a fun tradition we like to do when Santa is off. We go get donuts in the morning. How is it? You got one with hearts. And what'd you get? What does yours say on it? I love you. Aww. It has edible pearls. It does. And pink, red, purple. And purple. Beautiful. So guys, does anybody else wear like something ridiculous around the house whenever like I'm like nap time I always put this big giant robe on it was actually sands and it's huge but it's so warm and cozy and I love it but it looks ridiculous but anyway we got home a little while ago from running errands we went to party city got the balloons we went to Dobby's and got the donuts like I showed you guys and then we stopped at grocery store to get like a fruit tray and veggie tray um, we're feeding we're, we got way too much food for uh 2 30 in the afternoon party but we just want to make sure everybody had enough food and we can always use it for daycare for leftovers but um at 10 45 we laid bryony down for her nap it hopefully works out well because she ended up having a bunch of nightmares last night and ended up sleeping with us halfway through the night and nobody gets good sleep when she sleeps with us so i don't think she got the best sleep so i'm pretty sure she's asleep right now and it's 11 30 so we're gonna get her up at like 12 45 since the party is during nap time. Celia's just watching some TV, Sam's getting some lunch ready for us, the girls already ate. And so I'm just editing tomorrow's vlog and um, we're just getting everything ready for the party, but it should be pretty easy. We're gonna pick up Subway sandwich platters that I ordered um, right on the way to the party. And then we can set up from 2 to 2.30. The party's from 2.30 to 4.30. And the plan is to do like eating, cake, and then presents. And then the kids can just play for the rest of the time. And the adults can like talk and stuff. So should be pretty stress-free. And then we pack up and go home. And I just really love that, you know, we spent more on this party probably than we would have had it been at home. Maybe because we're... We ordered food, we're not making it, you know, but it saves so much sanity and stress and I don't have to spend hours cleaning before and hours cleaning after. I can just do our normal cleaning um, for the week and just, I'd recommend it. Time and money, you know, it's a, always a balance, but I'd rather sometimes spend more money but have more time, so I'm just excited. Princess Elsa is here, can you do a twirl? Beautiful. It is 
about 5 30 we just got home the girls are watching a show just having a lazy night and sienna is gonna start bringing everything in that was probably one of my favorite birthday parties although i wish we had had like another hour or two but you could only rent the place for three hours and half an hour before and half an hour the first half an hour and the last half an hour for cleaning up and setting up so just wasn't enough time to visit with everybody and the kids had so much fun playing it was like the perfect place in the middle of winter to go it's not like the most beautiful place in the world but for kids it was perfect um and they were all sad to leave but it was so fun easy to clean up get home bring everything in and we are done like it's so nice i do have to do some cleaning tomorrow just like our normal cleaning or monday depending because i'm off monday as well so i'm out of breath but <laughs> it was a lot of fun and just great to see friends and family that we don't get to always see as often as we want um and celia had a blast Brian had a blast and just i love birthday parties it's just a fun time to get together how do you think it went it was alright. No, it was good. I'm glad we didn't have to do much cleanup now. Yeah. Except just bringing the gifts. And just, yep. That's it. And I'll show you guys what she got. Okay. Celia's eating. Brianny's always up to whatever I'm up to. So I'll show you what the girls, her, what Celia mostly got. Brianny got a couple things um, from people who didn't see her at her birthday. Um, but, shh, just a second. My mom loves to get Celia LOL doll stuff and actually had a Barbie. Um, car on her list and this can be used for Barbies and LOL dolls and it's really cool I mean it's got a key that can go in a glove compartment it comes with an LOL doll it's got a pool and you can take this out this way it has a dance floor and the lights and it's really cool it's really cool I love it okay she got this like frozen body pillow and super fuzzy blanket I can have two now one of my friends got this for her knowing she would love it it's this beauty salon and i love that it has a drawer so everything can go in it i know bryony will love that too but this, you can have that in your room this was actually for bryony yeah. and it's perfect because they don't have a cash register so awesome they'll love that and then uh both girls got matching frozen shirts so that's cool Celia got this frozen jewelry set, yeah. these emoji stamp markers, a digital camera, uh -huh. this frozen like flashlight story, that should be pretty cool. This is supposed to be a really fun game. My brother's really into games and he got this for her, so it's like a stacking game. Uh -huh. So that should be fun. Uh -huh. I might have had that on our list, I don't even remember. And then he also got her some stickers. What little girls don't love stickers? And then my grandma used to be like an amazing quilter, but her eyesight's not quite as good anymore. But she made this fleece tie blanket for us, and it's so soft, and I love it. Just means a lot to me. So, a lot of cool stuff, girls. And Celia doesn't have her ears pierced yet, but wants to wear earrings. So, my mom got her all these clip on earrings, which she's gonna love. Cecilia's got her earrings and Bryony let me see you <laughs> very cute I am really appreciating how nicely designed this is that each set of earrings has its own spot and they stack so they can all get put away nicely I love that good morning guys it is Sunday um, I'm still in my jammies and the girls are down watching some TV this morning it's about seven o'clock and Sian is working. He's been at work since 5 this morning, but he should be home during nap time, hopefully. But the plan for us today is to go to church. It's been a while because I've been so sick, but I, I'm i finding that I have some motivation back. Like, I've been interested in this channel and, like, thinking of things I want to do, so that's a good sign. I haven't had that for, like, six weeks, so seven weeks, eight weeks. I don't even know. I can't keep track at this point. Um, but I'm starting to feel that. Um, I haven't been maybe quite as sick. Get close, okay. Um, but I'm just gonna spend some time this morning because we're, we're not gonna go to Sunday school. I don't wanna overdo it. Um, we're just gonna go to the actual church service. Um, and um, then, you know, we just have the rest of the day together and Santa's off with us tomorrow too. I'm off tomorrow. So it's like two weekends 
in a row right back to back because we have had four days off so it just feels like a, a really special treat i'm really excited um so i'm just gonna spend the morning kind of getting the house back in order doing some cleaning and stuff i think we'll have cake for breakfast as a fun treat for them what did i say birthday cake birthday cake yeah do you like birthday cake yeah that's my birthday cake your birthday cake Brian, he just wanted to get dressed, but I put the little makeup set that Celia got right here, and I'm sure they're both going to love putting the makeup on. I kind of want like, to get like a little stand for it, but nothing too big because I don't want to block the mirror, but I just think it's so cute. This is super high quality. I would highly recommend it. I mean, it's got like the little perfume, it's, and it's all pretend, like they're not actually putting. It's got a blow dryer. It's got, how cute is this lipstick? It's so cute. It's got a hair straightener and lotion and some um, nail polish. It's just the cutest thing ever. And it's all wood, so it's like super high quality. Do you need help? Yeah. You're going to paint your nails? Here, paint your nails. Boop, boop. I'm going to do that one. So pretty. Keeping it real moment, Celia and I had a long talk last night because she takes after me. She loves to organize and put things in different places and whatnot, which is a good treat, but we got to hone in on like remembering where we put everything. So she likes to take like all her bracelets, which she has a lot more than this and put them in little containers and stuff. And then she puts them somewhere and doesn't remember where she put them. So we're missing a whole bunch of bracelets. And so I had a long talk with her yesterday about how I'm going to get rid of this whole jewelry thing and not give her any more jewelry if she can't keep track and take care of keeping it in here. I said she can reorganize stuff within this, but we're not taking all our bracelets, stuffing them in something and stuffing them in the dollhouse or bringing them downstairs or whatever because then she can't find it. And I told her, what if you have like the perfect outfit and you want this one bracelet and now you can't find it because you don't know where you left it. The whole point of organizing is so you know where your stuff is and you put it back after. Anybody else deal with this? I feel like, I don't know. I'm sure it's, I don't know if it's just a girl thing or just a kid thing. I think it's great she loves to organize her stuff, but she never remembers where she puts it, which is the main problem. Case in point. What do we have in here? And this little girl got a hold of tape, and so she's been taping everything. What do we have in here? Oh, we've got our earrings that don't belong in here. But if her sister gets a hold of them, we'll be all over the house. Oh, children. Oh my goodness. Okay, I've got Celia's outfits picked out for the week. I'm just doing Monday through Friday. So Monday, we have a mommy-daughter date. Tuesday is just a regular daycare day. Wednesday... Just a normal day, Thursday, just a normal day, Friday, just a normal day. You guys, this is my first day in months that I feel like me. I just went through and I like organized this and then I went in the kitchen. It doesn't look very organized, but like I was getting stuff out of here that doesn't belong in here. And then I went in here and I was like reorganizing that and reorganizing this and kind of moving stuff around and... I haven't done that in so long. Like, I haven't felt motivated to do anything. I haven't looked around my house and like, felt like actually doing something. So, and I'm like having all these ideas again, like inspired ideas and I can't tell you, like it's so hard to explain because you haven't been in my head ever, you know, in my life. But I'm normally like this very motivated, inspired person who's trying to like improve her life and improve her home and wants to tackle this and wants to tackle that and I'm go, go, go. And I have not felt that way in a long time. Like I've had to go, go, go because I have a job and I have people who depend on me and I have a family, but I haven't had the desire to do that since Christmas time. And I'm not gonna like, announce that I'm feeling myself but just today at least I feel really really good and I ate a lot at the party yesterday of Subway sandwiches which I haven't wanted in a long time and I probably overdid it because I could actually eat so I was like I'll have another one and another one um but this is a good sign I'm 13 and a half weeks at the time I'm filming this 
and I'm feeling a lot better. So I'm hoping this will stick around because it feels really good to be me again. <laughs> I can't even explain, like I wanna cry, I feel so good. Yes, I'm winning Mom of the Year award for giving my kids cake for breakfast. I used to do this after my birthday growing up and it was my favorite thing ever and I'm sharing it because you know what, today I just don't care. I don't care about judgment. Yep, I'm gonna give my kids cake for breakfast for her birthday. It's breakfast. okay. It's one day of the whole year. Alexa, play. They're listening to worship music. They're playing slime. And I just went through and deep clean all the counters. Just wait, honey. Clean this, change my sponge. Like, I'm just on a roll. I'm gonna sweep the floors. Probably won't mop right now, but at least get it swept. I love our um, sweeper vac, our shark one, but it doesn't get like really deep, like under the cabinets along the edges. So I'm gonna just sweep. Hey guys, it is actually Monday. This keeps happening where I end up getting really tired and then I don't finish the vlog. Um, so I took the girls to church. That went really well. My grandma was actually staying at my parents' house for the weekend. So she was there. It was a really great sermon. And then my mom invited us out to Perkins. So I'm like, okay, yeah, I'll go. I'm feeling good. I haven't been in restaurants much at all the last like two months because I get so nauseous. But I was feeling good and feeling really hungry. So we went and it went really well. I actually probably ate way too much. I'm not used to eating a lot in one sitting um, because I've been so sick. And I got the like chicken, what is it called? I got the chicken fried steak like biscuit sandwiches. And I also got a mammoth muffin to start because I was so hungry when I got there. I needed something to eat right away. Um, and I think I overdid it <laughs> for sure. And you all know if you have little kids, like for me, church is like a big energy drainer because I'm bringing Bryony to the nursery. I'm making sure Celia's being good during the sermon. And then she goes off and just emotionally and like I'm running into people, I'm talking to a lot of people. And then I gotta go get Celia from the children's message and go get Bryony and corral them up. And on a normal day when I'm not pregnant, like it's not that big of a deal. But when I'm pregnant, it really drains a lot of my energy. And then taking kids to a restaurant, especially when you're the only parent there, cause you know, my parents and my grandma were there, but they just spoil the girls. Um, so they kind of make it harder to parent them. And so it was past when I normally lay Bryony down. We didn't get home till one. And so they were really good at the restaurant, but just like keeping Bryony from spilling everything and not getting stuff all over the floor. Like it's just exhausting to take little children to restaurants. And so by the time we got home, I had like all these plans of all the stuff I was gonna do during nap and I was just wiped out. So I ended up watching Virgin River. I'm working my way through that on Netflix on the couch while the girls napped and then Sand came home and then I pretty much just stayed on the couch for the rest of the night. So not much to show you there. So it was a good overall really good day and it was an amazing weekend and we still on Monday today actually have today off too and I just feel totally spoiled with time with my family and I'm gonna enjoy it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. I will see you next time. Bye guys.